Welcome back to Father and Son Fix. In this video, we're going to attempt to hot glue this polypropylene and TPE car part. Okay, let's see if it works. So we did some research and there was so much information on the internet that said a specialty glue was needed to glue. And this is a really, not a very structurally important part, but it is an area where the plastic doesn't have a lot of surface area. And this, these plastics are known as low surface energy because they don't work with normal adhesives very well. So we thought we'd give it a try with hot glue considering there is some thermal exchange there where it hopefully will heat up the surrounding plastic resulting in a better bond than using something like a super glue. Although a two-part epoxy may work, just by the nature of this plastic, we thought some sort of melting heat, and, and we actually did also try plastic welding and, and that worked well, but this is something different. We wanted to see if the average person who doesn't have a plastic welding kit could fix a part like this. Of course, you're gonna to wanna to wear gloves to keep your hands protected from the hot glue gun. So uh, let's take a look and see if this has warmed up yet. And you can see this gap there. It's just the way that those two pieces are joined on this car part, it, it creates a particular uh, point of failure. And this is just a, a regular craft or, or hobbyist uh, hot glue gun and nothing special. There's no surface prep that's been done here because the other side of this is still somewhat adhered. We didn't want to break it off completely and try and sand in there or anything like that. We thought, let's just give it a try with some of this hot glue. At the end, we'll show you the type of hot glue that we used as well as you can see the label on the type of plastic that this is. Often the type of plastic that you have will be stamped with a label. In this case, this one had PPE slash TPE, which is a combination of polypropylene and thermoplastic elastomers, which can make the plastic more flexible. So now we're just holding it in place after applying it right in the joint there. And we can feel the heat it's not a terrible amount, but it should be applied right at the most important point, right at the joint there, ideally fusing the glue, the hot glue, with the plastic and then to the plastic on the other side. All right, let's see how well that worked. That's, that's actually pretty good. There's, there's hardly any movement around the joint at all. So we're going to go around and maybe touch up some of these other areas, but look at this. That's, that's impressive. We were not expecting that type of result with this. And again, this isn't a structural element. We're not recommending this for any structural use. However, it certainly holds up the weight of this car part, and we'll take you in for a closer look at the seam here. And there you go. You can see there's no flexing. Maybe slight flexing, but that, that's due to a crack that's on the other side there. Uh, but the part itself, that really adhered very well. So let's get in here, and we're just going to add a little bit more on some of these areas just to overlap that joint to give it a little bit more strength. And bear in mind, we're not pressing the head of the hot glue gun into the plastic. We're not trying to use the head of the glue gun like a plastic welder. We're just applying the hot glue, letting the heat from the hot glue adhere to this polypropylene uh, material. Of course, sometimes you get those little uh, hairs or spider webs. We'll take you in again to take a look at this to see what we've got going on here. Probably could have left it with that first bead of glue. That, that looked clean. This is getting a little bit messy here, but certainly the reinforcement can help. And yeah, look, shaking it, it's holding on. 
working very well. Really impressed with the hot glue here. It gets a thumbs up from us. Now here's the hot glue that we used. It's called Sure Bonder. It's it's just regular hot glue, and this is not even the large caliber hot glue. This is the smaller, really sort of hobbyist size here, and uh, really worked well. Maybe we'll we'll upgrade to the larger one for for larger repairs. We're not sponsored in any way. This is just what we had around the house, and uh, certainly worked for us. Now let's see if we can give you a look at the label on this. And if you look there, above Made in Germany, it tells you the type of plastic. And that's what had us wondering before this, you know, would we be able to glue it? And we researched the type of plastic, and that's where we saw a lot of information that said, you know, oh, you know, you have to use these special adhesives, these expensive adhesives, and we thought, you know what, got some hot glue around the house. We had already plastic welded in other parts that we knew it was going to work fairly well. And here you can see where we've glued also onto a crack in the piece. And uh, that seemed to work pretty well also. That, the, the crack, though, is in a little bit of a challenging spot. Uh, the seam around um, that drain seemed to work a little bit better. However, overall, we've been really impressed with this. And uh, if, if you have thoughts on the type of glue or successes, failures you've had gluing plastic together in the past, of course, we mentioned plastic welding, which, you know, that's something we're familiar with. Any adhesive you, you've used or, you know, we'd love to hear about it down in the comments. Thanks for watching. We hope you have a great day. Take care.